This is social mobility. I think we showed this relationship first, um, but this is a, a bigger analysis um, from the Brookings Institute in, in Washington. Um, <clears throat> it's um, intergenerational income mobility. So it's really saying, do do the children of rich parents, are, are they also rich? And are the, uh, basically, do rich parents have rich children and poor parents have poor children? Uh, and you see the bigger the inequalities are amongst uh, uh, parents, amongst the adult population, uh, the more uh, restricted social mobility becomes, the less social movement up and down the society. I want now to give you an idea of what I think is one of the most important social processes behind the data I've been showing you. Um, there are a number of studies uh, of measuring community involvement, social cohesion, um, the strength of, of community life. Um, this is people's participation in, in local groups. I, I may say we've done all this work not only internationally on this group of countries, but also uh, as a separate test bed on the 50 American states asking just the same question, do the more unequal American states do worse on all these things? And the picture is, is it's extraordinarily similar. It's almost identical. Um, the things related to inequality internationally are also related to inequality amongst the American states. Um, big differences in, in the strength of uh, community life. This is a measure of trust. Um, it's the proportion of the population who agree that most people can be trusted. And it goes from 15 or 20% in the more unequal countries up to 60 or 65% in the more equal countries. I think that makes a difference I mean, even to your feeling of safety if you're walking home alone at night um, in a big city, I mean, perhaps particularly for women.